Our mobile devices spend 80 to 90% of their time connected to Wi-Fi networks. These may be in our homes, our workplaces, or in public locations such as railway stations or coffee shops. In order to connect seamlessly to these networks, our devices remember previously used network addresses and credentials in order to quietly connect when those networks come into range. Attackers can use this polling to listen for the, device, the networks that our devices are requesting and assuming the identity of those networks forcing our devices to connect to a rogue Wi-Fi hotspot. This is known as a man-in-the-middle attack and when this occurs, much of the data transmitted from the device such as URLs, usernames, passwords, credit card information can be intercepted by the hacker. James Gurrier, Cybersecurity Manager for BAE Systems Applied Intelligence, will now show how Mobile Threat Manager can protect against this type of attack. In this demonstration, we will show how relatively simple it is for an attacker to first identify a potential target and then initiate a man-in-the-middle attack to steal username and password credentials from a phone. We will then show how Mobile Threat Manager prevents such attacks from happening and keeps this important data safe. Here we can see the standard method of Wi-Fi connection for a mobile device. Mobile devices connect to Wi-Fi routers and then on to the internet. This then allows corporate devices to on connect to the corporate intranet. In a man in the middle attack, a malicious individual can subvert this regular process by making access points unavailable to specific users. The attacker can then spoof the original access point and force the victim to connect to their own router and subsequently control their version of the internet and sniff all their traffic. In order to identify a potential target and create a rogue Wi-Fi hotspot, there are plenty of legitimate URL sniffers that can be used to identify and view Wi-Fi networks and all the wireless devices, including phones, and identifiable by their unique MAC addresses that have previously connected to Wi-Fi. It is worth noting that this is all entirely legal. Having identified a target and the Wi-Fi network we want to pretend to be, the next step is to set up the false Wi-Fi network. In this example, we're using to create the false Wi-Fi. It's a specialized wireless router designed for the performance of Wi-Fi testing and hacking. Having now set this up, we can now force the phones to connect. In this example, we are using two Android devices. The phone on the left is not protected by Mobile Threat Manager. The phone on the right is protected. And what we will now do is show how these two devices perform. The phones are now connected to the false Wi-Fi network. Here, both devices are logged into Google. What you can see here is that for the device on the left, when Google was accessed, traffic was visible on the computer screen. When the same Google website was accessed by the mobile protect enabled phone on the right hand side, you can clearly see that no traffic was visible. When we logged in to Outlook and entered our username and password credentials, these were captured by application and are clearly visible on screen and obviously to any malicious attack. We have now logged in using the Mobile Threat Manager enabled phone. The first thing you will notice is that we have not been redirected to the full site. This is clearly identified by the padlock at the top of the screen. The second thing to notice is that on the screen, none of the username or password credentials have been captured and therefore are not visible to an attacker. For a Mobile Threat Manager enabled phone, when a user attempts to connect to a Wi-Fi router, Malicious or not, this initiates a VPN connection to our cloud-based cleaning hubs. This means that all traffic is fully encrypted, so even if it is connected to a malicious access point, the traffic is unreadable. We have now shown how Mobile Threat Manager not only protects your device, but also your data in transit, and should be considered a major component of your organization's mobile security strategy.